Hey, this is Jamie with Off the Wall Paints. I was freehanding a soccer ball in my son's room, and without the stencil, I made quite a few mistakes. So I wanted to show you how easy it was to just take the soccer ball off and start over. What I'm using is our remover, as you can see right here. I've just got the two ounce bottle. And one of my favorite ways to remove it is just with the sponge. There's also foam rollers that you've seen on our Facebook and website before, and those are great. So all I'm doing right now is just pouring some remover. And I've just got a paper plate right here from my kitchen. Uh, one of the most important things is not to oversaturate the wall while you're doing this. So I've put a little bit of remover on my sponge and I'm just going to start dabbing and rubbing it on the soccer ball. I'm going to clean up any spills and drips and that's why it's important not to use too much. If you use a lot of the remover of course it's just going to run down your wall and that's going to make a, a mess. Um, as you can see it's already starting to take it off over here we say of course you need to wait about 15 minutes for it to really work um, but a lot of times that that's not always the case but again just lightly apply it with a sponge or one of the foam rollers and as you can see I'm not putting much pressure at all I'm just lightly rubbing it and it's already starting to take it up starting to run just a little bit so I'm just going to wipe it up with the dry end of the sponge right here and now that I've got the soccer ball really covered with the remover I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and as you can tell it's really already starting to come up It's also good to have a little hand towel or some um, just even uh, paper towels handy. It's going to clean off my sponge just a little bit. This really is just wiping right back off. It doesn't take any pressure. It doesn't take a lot of the remover at all. Uh, you just need to have it covered. And then again, like I said, I'm using a sponge. You can see the paint's already coming off on my hand, which this is going to wipe, wash straight off um, when I go wash my hands in just a second. But this remover literally with very, very little effort, just takes this right back off the wall. All right, so I ran and got some paper towels from the kitchen, and I just wanna show you, I got a couple that are slightly damp, and I've got some dry ones as well. Just wiping back up. Now since I'm just going to paint this soccer ball right back over it, you can see there's still a little bit of the white that's left. For me, that's okay. But I just want to show you that we can get all of this back up off the wall. So I'm just going to use a little bit more of the remover. And since I live in an older home, we've got some walls that are paneled, as you can see right here. So I've just got to put a little bit of extra remover right there in that paneling between those panels. And I'm just wiping back around. Again, this has been a, a total of maybe three minutes. 
that I've been wiping on the wall. I'm gonna get my paper towel. Wipe that up. And now I'm not even using the sponge, but since the remover is already on the wall and it's had a couple of minutes to sit, it's just wiping up with my paper towel now that I'm using. Of course, wherever the paint was applied and a little bit thicker, it's going to take just a second longer for it to come back up. But there you go. I've got all of it off. Soccer ball's gone, and I'm ready to start over.